It is such a pleasure and, a, a, and an honor to have met you, Susanna Schwartz. Yes. And you're right. Dr. Schwartz. Magistra. Wow. And you helped me so much, you brought me here I to the... I will bring you inside and <laughs> I will show you the nice coffee house and then I go... Okay, this is the Jewish Museum here in Vienna. And Susanna, wow, you, um, you were telling me that in, in the south of Austria... Um, there is a lot of racism, but all over here. But not with the young people. The educated young people here in Austria are definitely non, not racist, mm -hmm. but the older generation who are not so educated and who read, let's say, very simple newspapers like the Kronen Zeitung, they are really racist. Really? And our government, our present government is favoring racism. The ÖVP, Österreichische Volkspartei, as well as the so-called Freedom Party, the FPÖ, they are all favoring racism against the, the Syrian refugees, African refugees, Ukrainian refugees. Really? I'm working with refugees half my life. Wow. And you mentioned you have, in your own family, you have a... Uh... In my own family, my papa was a resistance fighter. Really? Against wow. Mr. Hitler. I just come from the archives. My papa was a telecommunication person. And he was doing what we call Funken in German. It's telecommunication. He was with the 6th Army in Stalingrad and he escaped because he was doing telecommunication. He survived the war, but after he was very old when he passed away, but the real reason why he passed away were the headphones, which were causing in his uh. brain this Parkinson's disease. And I couldn't help him because at this time I was not familiar with this awful molecular medicine, which I'm doing now. But he could have survived. Susanna, can I just ask you, how can it be that you have a sister that is very different to you? She's afraid because our government is making very terrible propaganda. They put people in a kind of danger, in fear of coming too many relatives to the European Union. My sister had a clean heart, but in 2000 our policy changed totally. And since then she changed. She's not a bad person. She was not a bad person. But now she is only greedy because the propaganda of this present government is really serious. But she's not anti, is she anti Jewish? Not really. Mm, not so much, but anti. Immigrants. Say, yes. Immigrants, yeah. And even the Turkish people here, they have established themselves as fruit grocers yeah. in the markets. They are anti new immigrants. So we have a big of. Big hatred, you know. Wow. That's really, really terrible. I'm a, I'm a journalist and I'm a good historian and I'm well read and I'm not, I mean, I'm not afraid. But I was beaten up seriously by the police four times. Because, really? Yes, in my own house because I was, I'm working for the refugees. Seriously. Of course, they will now have to pay. I'm fighting a court case. This country is not a paradise. And we have many racist tendencies. Even if Mr. The Vice Chancellor Hans Christian Strache, Heinz Christian Strache, he pretends to be pro Jewish, but I think that's a clever fake, and he's very anti immigrant. He does terrible things, terrible. Well, he undermines the, the minds of the people, you know, he's a brainwasher, a brainwasher of people. That's actually very sad to hear. Well, on a positive I'm, note. No, no, I'm fighting. I'm wow. fighting. But many young people are fighting. We yeah. have many NGOs yeah. which are fighting. We have many supporters here in Austria and also from the refugees. We cooperate nicely. But the government, we had a change three days before Christmas last year in 2016. And now we have a very right-winged government. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to, to save a lot of money on the head of the immigrants and also on the head of old people and on the head of, let's say, emotionally handicapped people and minority. Well, I must tell you... The, 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 the Jews are not in the center of Yeah, because it's a very small community now. The Jews, uh, I wouldn't say that they have a big problem, but of course there is, in the back of the minds of the older people, there's an anti-Jewish belief.
because, not because they are bad people, but they still believe that the Jews caused the war. Wow. The second war, not the first war. I'm talking about Hitler. Jeez. So, and uh, today I met a, a nice guy, and he said, but it was Mr. Rothschild, you know, the big Rothschild, bank, yeah. that he was only sponsoring the Second World War. And I said, many people sponsored Hitler. I'm not sure what Mr. Rothschild did, but it was the, um, the chemistry industry in Germany, which really sponsored Hitler so that he was... Yeah, yeah. The chemical industry, the petrol industry, the car industry, and That's many true. rich people yeah. in Munich sponsored him. Otherwise, I mean, he was totally poor. Yeah. And he's, he was... He had some intelligence, but he was totally misled. And we all know if he had been a painter at the Art Academy yeah. in Vienna, the Second World War would maybe not have happened and, in this uh, way. That's true. And, you know, it was so nice. I was walking, and I think maybe you saw I had a kippah, and you you said, oh, we, can I help you? It was so nice of you. It really Welcome. was. I will escort you inside. Well, I just we'll want to tell you, I want to tell you a positive thing. They invited Israel, and I'm the commissioner, to Klagensfurt for a uh -huh. stamp exhibition, yes. and they accepted me very well as Israeli Scott, commissioner. Who did you talk to? No, it was the main Landes exhibition. Hauptmann? It was the main exhibition Very with the uh, mayor of uh, Klagensfurt. But did it have it was, something to do with contemporary history? It's stamps, stamps of Austria. Yes, but and the, which period of the whole? It's ah. it's it's uh, general. Oh, that's so good. the the chairman of the Austrian Philatelic Federation was there, the president, and Even it was amazing. President Van der Bell? No, no, of the Philatelic, of the what, Philatelic. What is the but guy it's, uh, I'll tell you, but it was very nice. I'll, I'll send you the video. Good. We had the opening, it was uh, Palmares, it was really good, and they gave Israel, you won two gold awards. So it was really, really nice. So, and this was in Klagensfurt. No, I mean, and, I mean um, the, the present government in Klagenfurt improved a lot yeah. because Mr. Haider, who was the the governor of, of Carinthia, he passed away in a car accident in 2008. He was killed. Oh, yes, he, he was killed, wow. definitely killed. He didn't just die. He was, he was not drunk. They put some, he was a little drunk, but they put something wow. into his drink so that he sure. crashed. And his follower is this Hans Christian Strache, who is more stupid and more terrible wow. and more brainwashing than the old one. And he is now sports minister. And he does a terrible thing on the, on the minds of the people in Austria. Because he, you know, he is not openly saying all the Jews are bad or all the Ukrainians are bad. He just slowly undermines and they cut down all the social benefits for the refugees. And they also open the databases for the refugees concerning possible mental, emotional or other sickness. Wow, that's, wow, that's wow. That's all disaster. Sure. So I will have a... Wow. Anyway, I just hope that yeah. you stay safe. But you must And go thank inside. you very much. Thank you, you so much. You must go inside. Okay, all the best. Because they are closing. Okay. I don't know when they are closing.